Hey you guys, happy Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys are all feeling healthy, staying safe. I'm praying that all of your anxiety levels are low and of course that you're not going crazy being cooped up in the house. I'm sitting on my floor, literally wrapped up in this huge knit sweater because I'm freezing but I wanted to keep on going with all of the moving vlogs I was talking about the other day. If you missed that video, I will leave it down in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna keep on moving forward with all the things I need to do before we move. So today's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be kind of more of a day in the life video. I have like a super easy breakfast idea that I wanna show you guys and I myself am starving, so I needed to make it anyway. And then today's focus is going to be my master bedroom and the master bathroom. I have a ton of clothes that I wanna go through and get to Goodwill. I really wanna scale down and get into like a minimal mindset and I just think it's so important when you go through a move to just declutter and not bring all of the crap with you. So that is what we're gonna focus on today. If you guys like cleaning and organizing videos like this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, welcome. I'm excited to have you here and I would love it so much if you would subscribe, but I'm so hungry. So let's go make breakfast. So I'm just gonna call this like my oatmeal bowl. It's so easy. I'm sure pretty much all of you have seen it. If you have not, get ready to have your life changed. It is my newest addiction. I'm telling you, I literally eat this every single morning. When I run out of things, it's a bad day. So I buy all of my oatmeal from Costco. I buy it in the 10, it, I'm pretty sure it's literally 10 pounds bags, like it's huge. And I just bought these little glass, well they're not little, they're like pretty big glass jars and I put the oatmeal in there and then when it runs out, I just go in my pantry and fill the jars back up with oatmeal. I keep my bananas on hand, but if you guys aren't into bananas, you can do blueberries. I always interchange either bananas or blueberries. I've done raspberries before, but I don't love how it tastes with peanut butter because that's the next ingredient. So peanut butter, I just use the Jif Natural Creamy. I'm sure crunchy would be so bomb. I also use these chia seeds. They're the white chia seeds. I got them at Ada's. It's like a natural food marketplace here. And then I need honey. It's like so key, guys. It like makes it so sweet and yum. And yeah, is that all? Oh, granola. Okay, so I got this granola also at Costco. But of course, if you guys shop at Costco, you know that they interchange a lot of their products and um, they're like on rotation for a new granola right now. So this is an in-store that I've seen, but maybe if you guys check, it's so good though, is my point. So it's the Bare Naked Premium Granola Dark Chocolate Hazelnut Butter. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like literally almost gone, so that's problematic. But I'm gonna set you guys up. Why am I so out of breath? And I will prep all of this and then show you guys and do a taste test because I'm so looking for something like in the morning or afternoon that's going to fill you up like I don't know there's certain foods that I eat that I feel so hungry still I can go till like past lunchtime with this it's obviously like lunchtime right now but usually I'll eat this at like 9 10 in the morning so good all right here we go so the best thing about this is like all the components in one bite
Oh my gosh. It never gets old. Like, I went through a phase of more savory, um, like eggs, sriracha, peppers, like that type of breakfast. And then I was craving more of like a sweet, so this has definitely been. I may make another cup of coffee. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll head into my room to start decluttering. Okay, so yesterday, I did, kid you not, probably six to seven loads of laundry. My husband, love him to death, um, has a very interesting laundry strategy. He likes to call it the dirty and the like in-betweeners, essentially. I'm making it a point at the new house to buy one of those like rolling rack four compartment laundry basket things, you know, so it's like, I will literally label like, okay, then put the dirty ones in this one and put the like, maybe you'll wear again in this and so on. I have one more load of my laundry to do, but for the most part, my dresser is stocked. My, <laughs> sounds like I'm like grocery shopping and I put it in my dresser. My dress dresser is like full of my main like underwear, bras, um, yoga pants, shorts, and then like sleep clothes at the bottom. My closet, is all of my shirts, jackets, dresses, skirts, nicer like businessy type of clothes, which I never wear anymore. I used to work in a like corporate-y type job and I just, I have no need to wear those clothes. I keep them because I'm like, well, what if, no. That is not the mindset we are having here, folks. We are downsizing and if I ever run into a situation where I am just needing a full on business suit look, then I will go buy it. But as for now, it's probably gonna go. I think what I'm gonna do is grab a trash bag. I already have one started, but I'm, I've been mixing in like home goods type of items with the initial start that I did with clothes, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna just start a new bag, go through my nightstand, just any miscellaneous item that someone else could use that I don't need, that is just taking up space, it's gone. I'm not touching Nate's stuff because obviously I don't want to just like throw out my husband's clothes even though there are literal shirts since three years ago when we started dating, he has never worn, but that's fine. That's his prerogative. So I'm gonna start with my dresser. Let's go. Okay, so the dresser is done. I filled up quite a large bag, as you guys saw, and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, I have like the whole top drawer pretty much cleaned out. It's just all underwear, bras, everything that I know I have been wearing consistently, and I got rid of the things that I'm not. All my sleep shirts, 
hoodies, pajama pants, yoga pants, all of that are things that I wear all the time. So let's move in to the closet. Okay, so everything in here is, um, for the most part, things that I wear all the time, but I will say that I do need to go through it, especially this drawer, this one here, the three drawer guy is mine. It's mostly bathing suits, but there are some random like miscellaneous items in there. And then I do wanna go through my shirts and like dresses and all of this because I know for sure there are things that I have not worn in a very long time. And that's just such a waste. Shoes, I've gotten rid of a ton of shoes. It's all in this black bag here. And then Nate's side for sure needs to be addressed. And we will get there. So I know I said in the beginning of this video that I was gonna go ahead and get Nate to do some stuff tonight, but we just got word that our grandma, his grandma who's in town, they're gonna be heading out tomorrow instead of Thursday and we thought we had like another day to hang out. So anyway, we're gonna be going to do that. I'm gonna meet him there after work, but I just wanna throw that in because I'll probably include his portion of the declutter in another one of these videos that I make. I'm just gonna focus on my side of things. I'm gonna take care of checking out all of the clothes that I'm no longer wearing and no longer needing, and then we'll move into the rest. Wash by the waters of Lake Michigan Wherever I go I will return again to my Oh The blessed Midwest The blessed Midwest So dresses, dress clothes like my long pants, I tried a few of them on some don't fit, some fit, and I'm like, okay, I don't need like three pairs of nice black dress pants. So I'm gonna ask one of my good friends if she wants them before I put them in the Goodwill pile. I'm really getting honest with myself also. Like, you guys, if you need to do this or you're thinking about doing this, like, really, really think about your day-to-day outfits, style, what your job requires of you. Do you dress more casual? Do you like to dress up more often? Like. Really think about the things you need because it's so cool to be able to give to Goodwill, like people who do not have clothes and can't afford nicer options. If you have some of these like higher end brands or things like that, of course you can take them to like consignment shops where they'll pay you for them. But clothes that are old and like not necessarily in style can get so much use through someone else who can't afford it in a normal store. Cluttering is a lot of work actually. Okay, so these are going to, I'm gonna check with my friend, see if she wants those, cause she works more in like a businessy type, um, like office setting. And then this bag oh, is almost filled up. I recently went through my pants, so I think the more I think about it, like I'm good there. All these fit me. Jacket, same thing. I downsized a lot of my blazers. So I'm feeling really good about the clothing side of things. My dresser looks great. The closet feels so much better. Like it was starting to feel a little bit overwhelming when I was in there and I was like, just keep going, just keep going. And I'm so happy I did. Now it's like, my kitchen and living room area is gonna be probably the last task. So like I said at the start of this, I'm gonna move into my master bathroom and try to work as fast as I can to just go through all the products that I'm not using anymore and just really get a better like organized feel of things. That way once it's time to move and put things in boxes and however we're doing it, it'll be a lot easier to go through and it won't feel like I'm bringing like empty bottles and like expired products to the new house cause that's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna go in there now, probably finish my cold coffee and um, like take a little break from 
decluttering because it can get as satisfying as it is like it can get so just like boring and tedious and it's such a gorgeous day outside i feel like once i finish with the bathroom my reward is going to be editing at the pool oh my gosh the pool's closed all right I really am stuck inside. I think I'll go out at least on the balcony just to be outside because I feel so stir crazy. I feel really bad. My husband, Nate, feels the same way. He works for a home builder here in the area and they still have to go to work. And so he's literally just sitting in the model home. Like no one is coming in. So my reward is gonna be to just get outside because it's so pretty. I'll probably get the pups on a walk, but Daisy is being my my little bud she's hanging out with me but yeah i'm gonna finish my coffee and move into the bathroom and i will show you what we are working with <laughs> All right, coffee break is over, but I'm moving into the bathroom, so let's keep going. So walking into our bathroom, things are messy. I don't really care. I will show you what is going on. That is unreal, like honestly out of control, and we are immediately going to take care of this. A lot of these products are the products I use every day. I have some storage up there of products that like you know, for all my cotton rounds and all that hair stuff. I just wanted to show you an overview of what it looks like and then I will show you as I go and the after. So I grabbed my trash bag and what I'm gonna start focusing on first is going to be expired products, empty products, and those are gonna go in the trash. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna uh, probably pull everything out. That's usually just what I do. I find it easier to just see everything like out of the cabinet or refrigerator or whatever you're working on, just like pull things out, and then you can go ahead and like reconfigure the space. I did mention in my last video that I didn't wanna go like too in depth with organizing just because we are leaving, but because we are gonna be here for another two months, I think that it's worth it to just organize it, get things back to normal because I don't, my cabinets never look like this. Like I usually have things very organized, like I know where everything is in my place. And so I've just let things kind of go, get out of hand with us traveling and we had family in town. And so yeah, just all of the things of life stacked up against me and I lost the organization battle. So I'm going to start throwing things away. so happy with how it looks it's like everything is accessible my perfumes in the new house i'm gonna get a stand for this and put them out it looks so good i'm pumped all right guys i feel so accomplished whoa so bright and so much better now that i know that my closet is good to go the bathroom looks so good and organized it just makes me feel better i don't know if any of you guys can relate if so tap that like button down below but yeah now we just have nate's clothes to go through in here um, some of the nightstands have random things like i said but i've already gone through mine so we just have to go through nate's and then we're good on the master bedroom and bath declutter. I feel so good. I hope this video inspired you guys and motivated you to get up and clean maybe. Even if you're not going through a move, like I've said a million times, these videos help me so much in terms of just feeling motivated to clean when I watch them. One thing that I didn't mention and I thought of, I took the dogs for a walk and I was like, crap. 
but in my dresser, like those top drawer organizers, I'm gonna link those in the description box down below. They're just from Amazon, they're so inexpensive, but they are such a game changer. Honestly, guys, like I bought them maybe like a few months ago. I put it in a video, I'm pretty sure, but they have changed the game for just like how I feel when I open that drawer. I used to have my underwear like literally everywhere and I would be like going through it like crazy trying to find what I was looking for, but now with these organizers, it's amazing. And they have bigger ones, like wider um, sections and pockets and stuff like that. If you wanna use it for like rolling up your leggings and stuff like that, I think that's what I'm gonna do once we move. So I will leave those down below. I love you guys. I hope you all are just having a great day or night, whatever it may be for you when you are watching this. I'm gonna go eat some lunch and start editing this video, but I hope you enjoyed, and please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you are not subscribed already. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Go check out my Instagram uh, to see what I'm up to in my stories. That's where I'm always posting, so I'd love to have you guys there as well. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys, bye.